so we're back. Haven't been back for almost three months. Big risk being traveling homesteaders because we have to leave all of our plants and see whether our systems, our irrigation systems and ways of utilizing mulch and other water creating um, methods can sustain the, the plants that we have on there. So we've got 200 or so blueberries, have they survived? We've got cherry plants, have they survived? We've got other apricots and plums that you might have seen me prune to try and bring them back. We've got an almond, we've got fig tree, we've got massive nesper tree, we've got all of these fruit trees as well as some olives and we've also got some veg that I was hoping will keep us going as well but has it all survived? It's a big moment actually it could all be dead and then this morning I just realized that we could have had a robbery all of our things here might have been stolen because we haven't been here for so long so let's come come with me hold my hand and let's see whether i'm going to be crying laughing or both in very very soon <sighs> these blueberries actually look like they're okay The apple tree looks in good health, reasonable health. However, we've come too late to harvest them. So they've started going rotten. I think that's probably because of the amount of rain that's been in Portugal. So good that it's alive, but they're all rotten on the tree, I can see. I was hoping that some would still be okay, but they've just all gone rotten. Cherries along here are looking okay. This apple looks like it's okay. It's putting out some new root shoots, so it's reasonably happy. So all good so far. Even this cherry's looking okay. Wow, that's looking healthy. That's amazing. This cherry hasn't had any water for three years now from us on the irrigation and it's surviving. Incredible. These blueberries are looking okay on second terrace in. The cherries are looking okay. Well, some things have done incredibly well. This patch that I left, left for dead. I didn't think it was gonna survive, but we've got some <coughs> beetroot are still alive, parsley's still alive, lots of parsley. We've got our herbs are still alive, marjoram and oregano are still alive. So far, so good, really. So, a bit of a shady a bit. This orange tree seems to be flourishing quite well. Put on a lot of new growth, which is really good. No oranges this year. Maybe next year. Here, the apple tree that we cropped before we left is looking healthy needs a prune but it's looking good so first off A 
A lot of the persimmon are still okay. Yes. 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 Wow. So it looks like the courgettes have survived. My attempt at putting shade over them has collapsed, but it obviously kept some of the moisture in and has kept some alive. But here, this one, a little bit rotten. <laughs> it's because of all the damp, but still quite edible. Just another one, we can salvage some of that. But this is the one I want you to see. Look at that! <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? We are going to eat this winter. And hopefully this will store for some time before we have to eat it. So I don't think I can eat this in one go. Okay. So, what's this? Wow! <laughs> the pepper survived. Amazing. There's a lot of the peppers, that, yeah, there's lots of peppers on here. The kale has survived. Got a little bit more of the broccoli. Even get some tips of that. The pomegranate survived. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Come over here. Look. I don't know what we'll be eating. Look at that aubergine. But, there's another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> one of the less happy things is our strawberries don't look too healthy. I moved them from the other spot where they were, if you look in the other video when I was preparing, I put, put them in here hoping that they would survive, but they do look like they've died off. I can't see any still alive. Maybe the roots will come back in the summer or the spring. These parsnips are alive. I didn't do much with these parsnips, I literally just put them in the ground and left them to it. But, oh, I can't get this one out, but they are alive. I'm gonna leave that one in there. It's probably about that wide at the top. It's about that wide at the top. So maybe leave it in, see if it gets, they get any bigger. <laughs> Same with the carrots. <laughs> Haven't done much really, but you never know. I'll leave them in. So this bed, we didn't put any watering on it at all. It was heavily mulched and watered before we left. We've got one squash left over from one of the plants that was here that unfortunately died. These plants survived. Let's see if there's anything on them. Not really. This one's looking really healthy. And it's got a couple of fruits coming on it, so might get some late ones out of that. The canna lily survived. And amazingly, these carrots survived. <laughs> it's incredible, because they, they weren't watered at all over the summer, uh, from when we left at the height of the summer. On the base level, which this area wasn't watered, the blueberries are still looking okay, the raspberries are looking okay, sorghum's okay. So the saffron looks lovely this year. 
tree come out and it's actually ready to pick the fronds out some of it just caught some of them in time so we'll have them so I was quietly confident to be honest but everything looks okay we got some produce from the vegetables and there's more kale and carrots and parsnips and courgettes to come yeah it's been okay <laughs>